Yes, I'm wearing my Agapa t-shirt because it's an exciting day at Dolman Towers today because my Agapa resonator uke has just arrived. Ooh, it is as beautiful as you're thinking it is now. Um, this is uh, a uke, I'm going to stop gushing now and get the facts out. This is a uke that Sven, uh, our gapper, made for me. It is a soprano resonator ukulele. Um, it's, um, have a look on his blog, the link's below as to how he constructs these. But basically there's a plywood skeleton in there, which is good, because that makes the whole body very rigid. Because for resonator ukes, you want the cone to do the work. You don't want thin, floppy, wobbly bits of wood like you do on regular wooden ukes. Um, and the plywood skeleton very cleverly also makes the sound well to hold the cone, which is in there under this cover plate. Um, and he's clad that plywood body with this beautiful ash, which has got, I don't know if you'll be able to focus carefully enough on there, closely enough on there, but it's got a lovely, lovely pattern to it. And on the back, I don't know if that works or not, but beautiful looking piece of uh, ash. The neck is cedar with, um, I really love this really simple squared off headstock. It's very reminiscent of um, early nationals. Um, a lot of them have that fancy shield shape with the binding and mother of pearl, but some of the models have a really simple wooden shape. And the only bit of branding on here is right on the end of the headstock is stamped. You probably won't want to read that, but Argapa 80. This is number 80. Cedar neck has also got a very nice vintage carve to it. It's got um, a V, a really quite pronounced V in the back, which is lovely. And I don't know if you can see, but that the line created by that V goes up there and then beautifully splays out. The neck carve on this is, is really, really gorgeous and so comfortable to play. Mother of Pearl dots, but they're not dots, they're random shattered shapes of Mother of Pearl, which Sven has then expertly um, filed and shaped to make them nicely squared off at the edges so he can inlay them, and that's a beautiful job. And the fretboard is really nice and smooth, beautiful to play. So you're saying shut up Dolman and play it, so I will. Now, how loud this is, it will probably go out of tune because I've literally only just tuned it up in the last, it's cold from the journey and stuff in the last hour. How loud this is com is completely, you know, dependent on how loud you've got your speakers. But, trust me, that's loud and I'm not. That's very gentle strumming. You dig in. hasn't got any kind of tinniness or harshness to the sound. It sounds very much like a wooden uke turned up, which is fabulous. Picked, it sounds beautiful and clear. Etc, etc. It's, it's just Fantastic. The intonation, of course, is spot on all over the fingerboard. Sounds absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to stop gushing now and uh, and leave you to, to harangue Sven in your own special way and try and persuade him to make more because he really does make the finest resonator ukes. Um, they are wonderful things, and I'm so happy. Thank you very much indeed, Sven, for, for the obvious time and effort and skill and love that you've put into this. And I'm really chuffed because in two days' time I'm heading off to the Big House in the Country Festival up in Cumbria, and this is why Sven hasn't done a video of this one, is because I pestered him so he would post it out last week as soon as he finished it so I could take it with me to the big house in the country. So if you come into the big house in the country, I'll have it. You must have a strum um, because it is fabulous. 
thank you very much indeed, Sven. I'm going to stop gushing and get off now and go downstairs and um, and play it some more. Cheers. <laughs>